Welcome to Westlake Pro. My name is Taylor and sitting next to me is John Lundeen, producer, engineer, and musician for Catacomb Recording Company. Today we're talking about the Focusrite Red 4 Pre, which is a 58 in, 64 out, Thunderbolt 2, Pro Tools HD compatible audio interface, all with Dante network connectivity. It's got four mic pre's, two instrument inputs, two headphone outputs, DB sub connections, optical I.O., all within a modern digital interface. So the Red 4 Pre has really clean and neutral mic pre's. Can you tell me why is it important to have clean and neutral mic pre's on an interface? The most important part of recording is having a clean signal going into your interface and for your converters to go into your computer. When you don't have a clean recording, it shows in your mix. Uh, you get a lot of noise. Uh, you don't have a lot of headroom. Uh, that's going to dirty up your mix in the end. So the Focusrite Red 4 Pre has something called Air, which is their built-in mic pre. It emulates the ISA range of, of mic pre's, and you've used actually the ISA. We had the one great ISA pre, you know, it's great for the price and it's great quality. Um, and it was kind of cool because having that one preamp sort of um, gave our home that identity sound, right? When you, when you are set with limitations, it kind of makes being creative a little easier, and it also set a sound for the mixes that were coming out of our, out of our house. So that preamp alone is already like near and dear to my heart, and we've been using it for a long time. Um, we moved out of that house, but he, he still got it, and he uses it every day. Um, but now that's emulated in these uh, Red 4 Pre's, which is awesome. And you can actually enable them or disable them, have them on or off, and it just gives you this, that awesome top-end ISA-1 clarity, which is, which is one of the biggest perks of having that, that preamp. So now it's in this unit. Because you don't always want just a clean signal, right? I mean, like how important sometimes like having color. Yeah, to, uh, having character, having, yeah. having color or certain tonalities that certain pieces of gear have and, and making your mix have a certain timbre, have a certain characteristic to it. So it's huge, you know, so certain studios, different gear will have their own sounds, their own characteristics. And, and, that's, and that's now, you know, emulated within the four pre's. And the air does like, I guess, like a top end kind of boost. A little bit. Yeah. So what would you use that on specifically? Any kind of uh, a top-end instrument, I guess you could say. It, it, vocals, you know, obviously it'd be awesome. Uh, drum overheads, drum rooms, uh, you know, like cymbals would be great. Any kind of stringed instruments like piano, like cello, like pianos or percussion, strings in there. But, you know, we got, uh, you know, any kind of like violins or anything like that. Um, but anything that kind of like holds that top air of your mix uh, would be great on. So you could really use it on a lot of different instruments, a lot of different kinds of applications. You can do it on whatever you want. That's the beautiful thing about, about audio production and recording is that there's no rules. So, you know, if you want that extra clarity top end snap on your snare drum, you can throw it on there. Or if you want really bright in your face guitars, maybe you want to throw the emulator on your guitar mics. You know, you can kind of do whatever you want with it. So. Nice. The big thing about the Red 4 Pre, what makes it so great too, is the, the connectivity, right? So right. you've got DB25 on the back, you've sure. got optical I.O. Mm -hmm. How important is it for you know, anyone from a novice to a, a seasoned engineer to have such expansive connectivity in an interface? Like you said, it's, it's great for everyone. I think who it's awesome for would be your just starting out in your, in your home studio, wanting, wanting to go from, to that next level. Let's say you, have a, you already have a, an interface that works great, but you want to... You want to upgrade to an interface that has expanding capabilities and, and it will not easily be outdated. Um, all the way up to a professional studio that can integrate this with their HD systems and can integrate that with any of their outboard preamps that they might have. Um, so someone, because so, you know, like I said, we had the home studio and then now I'm at Catacomb. Um, but the home studio, it'd be awesome. You can either just connect uh, with a Thunderbolt straight to your computer or if you want to take the next level, we had two bedrooms in our home studio that surrounded the living room so it was like the live room in the middle and then we had the two bedrooms and we can we could both have you know a red net system or or a focus right um you know the red four pre system and connect those with the dante connection and and integrate everyone's um interfaces together so you brought up the dante system yeah okay so what what's cool about dante well right off the bat you don't have to run those huge snakes we are a two live room two control room facility and we have um, the live room is a big one. We do all of our drum tracking, so that's that's the got the most diffusion, most um, you know absorption and, and sound treatment, and all the preamps are in the main room. It's Johnny Lou's room, so if he is doing anything in there, editing or whatever, I can't be in there for whatever reason. I'll be in my room. The amount of work it would take to run mics from his live room into my control room is insane, right? I'm gonna have to run 
a 16 channel snake through the walls and we're talking 200 feet down so that's that's noise that's that's a pain in the butt to run all that cabling out into this live room so it all it would take is a simple network setup with the dante system so he, he would have you know the focus right a red net you know any of those models and and would have his pre's running into that and it would just take me to connect one ethernet cable from my system over to his ethernet input and i can utilize his live room his preamps all from my control room which is pretty huge